All right. Do you know your rights when it comes to maybe a slip and fall accident? I feel like it's something we hear about quite uh, quite often. But uh, joining us this morning, once again, Injury Florida Law Firm, uh, Catherine Stone. Uh, slip and falls. Good morning. How are you? Good. How are you? Good, good. We haven't talked about this one in a while, but we I do think it's important this to bring while. up. Well, and I think because, uh, you know, people are getting back out out of their yeah. houses, um, you know, people are, are back out going to malls, mm -hmm. people are back out, you know, just out, out, out of their homes in general. So we're obviously starting to see um, a rise in phone calls regarding slip and falls or even trip and falls. And there is a distinct difference, actually. I didn't um, know that. <laughs> well, with a slip and fall, what you need to understand and know is that there has to have been some substance on the ground that made you slip and fall. Oh. Okay. Okay. Um, or a defect in the flooring. Um, I had a case one time where it was we proved that the contractor had just recently put down tile that was not appropriate for a commercial building, and it was actually too slippery. Um, it was an outdoor area where there was tile, and and the tile was was too slick especially if the elements, if it rained or whatnot. And so that's why the client slipped and fell. So um, there has to be a defect um, with either the flooring um, per se, or there has to be a substance. And oftentimes, especially in a slip and fall uh, case, they want to know or see pictures of wet jeans or a picture of the actual substance on the ground. So, you know, I've preached this before. Um, if you're able um, to, as a result of an accident, take pictures immediately after the incident, um, those are pictures are going to speak a thousand words. And with a slip and fall or a trip and fall, in other words, there maybe was a sidewalk that had, you know, it, it was busted up or whatever that may be you've still got to prove one of the hardest things to prove is that the defendant or the owner or the property management company had enough time or had enough notice to know of the defect and have the ability to repair it so for instance if you're at a grocery store and the person right in front of you happens to you know drop a canister or knock something off the shelf well if you come right after them and it happens, they may argue that they didn't have, it wasn't sufficient enough time for them to have been put on notice of the incident and you may not be successful. That's where if the pictures show that maybe there had been multiple carts walk through that water and now the water's dirty and nasty, that insinuates it's been there long enough that someone within the store maybe should have known about it. Um, you know, the other, the other thing is caution signs, warning signs, if they're not placed in the proper place, oftentimes employees just think if they throw up a sign that, um, it's, it's okay. Well, take a picture of where that caution sign is located because it may not be located in a place that everyone can be aware of. And so pictures speak a thousand words. And then also when you're reporting incidences, I can't tell you how many times I get called months after the incident and they've never filed a formal complaint um, with the business owner or the property management company. How and soon does that have to be done? It should be done that same day. It should be okay. done as, as soon after the incident as possible. Now, here's the big thing everyone needs to know. You may not get a copy of that incident report um, because it's considered work product. But I tell clients, look, try to take a copy of that, you know, try to snap a picture of that with your phone. If they won't let you, take a picture of the person who's taking the report down um, because that person may not be there in two years when we may have to go to court over this. Mm -hmm. So there's, you know, just remember that if you have an accident of this type, it's not like an auto accident where the police are come out and there's a crash report right then and yeah. there. It's up to you to make sure that that report is filed. It's up to you also to make sure that we put them on notice of a claim so that if there's video surveillance, it's not destroyed. Yeah, all right, good info to know and to, and to put out there. Catherine, thank you so much. Of course, we've been showing the number of the website as well. If you have questions on this or anything else, uh, workers' compa related, I know you are happy to help. So again, there's the contact info. Thank you, Catherine.